V101.1, five questions with... Daryl Wright. And Brian Day. We got two for this time, okay? We're doing five questions. People, okay. Facebook is questions. You got to answer them, okay? All right, First go. thing come off the top of your head. First Question one. Stacy Dash is tweeting support for Paula Dean. What is up with that? Stacy Dash likes to eat. So do I. I... Paula Dean can call me whatever she wants to as long as dinner is ready. I've been called worse. <laughs> I've been called worse by females that can't cook. So, hey, you can say whatever you want. I like my diabetes tasty. Hey, so you wear a white suit just like Paula wanted? You dang all right. <laughs> <laughs> Paula, Paula, Paula's paying good money for that. That's got to count as overtime. Like, if she want me to dress like a slave, I got to be paid overtime for that. Like, that's just not normal wages. You, you got to pay extra. So, dog, she can cook, so she can say whatever she wants. Why yeah. not? Would, would you do it? I'm just saying that anybody who's never used a racial slur in their life, something's off. You know what I mean? <laughs> Everybody's used it. Driving here, I used it three times, right? You know what I mean? So, somebody's got to use it. And I, I feel bad for Paula Dean. She's losing millions now. So, I mean, if you thought she used the N-word then... She now she's definitely going to be using it now. <laughs> she got nothing to lose. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Put on a DMX video. Now she can hey, say it anytime hey, she wants. Yeah. All right, question number two. Well, what advice would you give Paula Dean right now? Keep saying it. Because <laughs> you got nothing, nothing to lose, sweetheart. Just keep saying it and keep cooking. Because I'm, I'm coming over. White suit and all. I love her chicken, personally. <laughs> I think it's delicious. I've tried it. Um, I'm coming over. I got no problem with it. Uh, My advice is not for her. My advice is for all the idiots that dropped her. Guess what? She used the N-word. Y'all dropped her companies. Guess how many N-words lost jobs because y'all are sensitive? <laughs> so what's worse, being called the N-word with a job or not being called the N-word and broke as hell? I'll take number one. <laughs> hey, you know, good thought right there, good thought. If, See, I, was, if, brain, I, was Paula Dean, if I was Paula Dean, I would just... Check myself in a rehab. <laughs> Let, and just blame it on drugs or something, and then just plead the tip. She should That's say it. that she got diabetes and her head went crazy because she cooked soul food. Yeah. So so just say her her insulin level was off and she started slinging the N-words. There you go. Butter on the brain, right? There, that, there, there it is. That's, okay. a, that's a great excuse. Question number three. If you were the president of the United States, because White House, you know, down this, out the theaters this weekend. That would what, be a miracle. Yeah, what would, yeah, but what would be your first executive order? My first e executive order, if I was the president, was to clear my felonies, because I'm a felon, so that's my first. <laughs> uh, that would be my first act as president, is all my felonies are gone. Uh, my second act would be uh, Booty Day, which is, booty yes, because I'm kind of a freak. So <laughs> it's like it would be one day a week where everybody that's in a relationship got to give up some booty or it's a crime because that's, that's what's causing all this strife. Like dudes is not getting enough booty. So ladies, this is your fault that dudes is running and shooting people because <laughs> there ain't enough booty going around. What the world needs now is booty. So forget the forget forget the purge. It's all about twerk day. Yeah. Hey, shake go. it, shake <laughs> it. Give it up. Give it up. How yeah. about you, man? First executive order. First executive order when I would when I would be in the White House would just legalize prostitution. Yeah, same that's thing. the one thing. Same, same thing. thing. Same yeah. thing. Yeah, that's the one thing people don't realize. Sexual frustration leads to a lot of crime. You get laid. <laughs> You don't want to go. When have you ever? You don't want to be a football player and go kill someone. That's when have you? Ever, when have you? Ever, okay. So okay. Is that what happened with Aaron Hernandez? Okay. I think if Aaron Hernandez no. would have okay. been getting laid at that time, you'd have been like, you know what, dog? When's the last time, time you got some slide, booty? You know what I mean? Like, when's the last time you got some booty and the first thought in your mind is, let me go rob a Seven Eleven? Yeah. <laughs> never. It's never happened. Exactly. Good point. Thank Good you. Good point. Good point. There it is. All right. Be a question. Politician. See, there you go. Yeah. Well, speaking of Aaron Hernandez, question four: What position will he play in prison? Receiver or tight end? Receiver or tight end? Honestly, since I've been to jail, I think that he'll be playing grocery store because he's loaded, so his commissary going to be stacked. <laughs> so I don't think, no. Um, I, I think he's going to be like the the uh, the uh, general store. Know how you watch Little House on the Prairie? Yeah. And people come to his cell and just trade out for stuff, like uh, packing Newports. Now, I feel sorry for whoever his whoever his cell buddy is because <laughs> that dude is going to catch it. Like, because uh, Aaron's going to have all of the all of the good stuff, right. like noodles and stuff like that. And his cell buddy probably don't got money like that. So his cell buddy is going to get just screwed over. But as far <laughs> as the position, I don't think he's going to play one. That's a big dude, by hey. the way. It, it's, it's not like 
It's not like it's some little baseball player that's that that's going to jail. Right. Dude is six six two sixty. Did they did they really have quest did they really have football team like longest yard or whatever like that? Is that really, no. is that even like that? <laughs> uh, okay, let me ask you a question. Oh no. You wouldn't even go to some high schools and let them play football with cleats. You gonna give cleats to a bunch of dudes that are felons? You think they gonna put them on their feet? Are you insane? <laughs> It's the shank. It's, it's the shank. Hollywood, Playboy. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I'd love to see them give give inmates cleats. <laughs> that'd be that that'd be idiotic. Oh for real. man, that would be classic. All right, here we go. Here's the picture. Okay. okay. Question five. I want you to caption this photo right here. All right, you see that? See that? Okay. Sight unseen. Give it to the fellas right now. Okay. Oh what? <laughs> you gotta make a comment on it. I'm out of Freon? That's, <laughs> this looks like this looks like Pimp My Ride Welfare. And you can show it to you so we can. <laughs> this is Pimp My Ride Welfare Edition right here. Welfare Edition. You got DMX hosting it instead of Exhibit. That's how bad it is right there. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, oh, okay. This is what Pimp My Ride would be if Mystical did it. Of, <laughs> uh, okay, I get it. Uh, there you go. No, it's the, no, it's the worst part. Like, Where did they plug it at? <laughs> I can't even charge my phone in a car, and they got an air conditioner. No, this, this is ghetto. That's my, duct, duct tape. tape. Oh, yeah. You, you got duct tape. See, if it was sealed in, you'd be like, hey, that's not a bad idea. But the duct tape right there, you're like, all right, now it's ghetto. Oh, oh, oh really? That, <laughs> that, that, that's that's ghetto. Ghetto. Now what, it's ghetto. That's what makes the picture ghetto. Yeah. Not the fact, you know what? Couldn't we have got some Westinghouse stuff? This looked like it came straight out of the way. Like, no, if you're going to put a full air conditioner in your truck... At least make it Westinghouse. I mean, at least make it with the... No, hold on, hold on. How, how, many, how many speeds does it have? Because that, that could actually bump it up. Dog, I can't even charge my phone in the car. <laughs> and they got an air conditioner plugged up. I, I don't even think it's ghetto. I'm mad. Like, dog, look at the world. you like, that's a good idea. No, it's not even that. What battery do you got where you can run this joint the and AC still run the car? Blasting. I'm mad, dog. Like, I... I <laughs> this is unacceptable. I want to find this dude. Hey, maybe I, I should call uh, Mystical and find out <laughs> where this dude live at, so I can get. This is unacceptable. Hey, How do you drive? <laughs> like, wouldn't you, wouldn't you, wouldn't you go to make a right and bust your knuckles on the side of your air conditioner? <laughs> <laughs> That's not a caption, is it? <laughs> hey. Don't don't turn right, or your or, or your knuckles will get busted. I don't know. <laughs> That's, that's good enough for me. Okay, I, I don't know if that's a caption or not, but... It was the whole range of emotions right there. Five questions, Del Wright. Thank you, guys. Hey, right, thank you, guys. Hey, 101.1, dog. Big Al is in the house. And y'all need to see his mugshot. Oh, <laughs> show the mugshot. Show the oh, mugshot. The Heat in, in theaters this weekend. <laughs> see what they did to me? Is that close? Is that close? Is that real? I don't know. That's real or not. That's all bad. That's all bad. V101.1.